Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel. Now then on today's video, we are going to be reviewing this thing. Uh, what is this thing, you might be asking yourself. Uh, well, if you're a regular to the channel, you will know that Banggood sponsor a lot of videos and occasionally they'll contact me with products that they think I might want to review. Uh, they, they contacted me uh, with this, the Happy Cow 777-273. I'm going to call it the Rays. Um, initially, I wasn't that enamoured, or I, I didn't really think it would fit in with the channel. I thought it was a bit of a toy, to be honest, because it just looks like a little manta ray boat. The thing that really piqued me interest about it, though, is it's got a camera on the bottom, and uh, you can film underwater using an app on your phone. So, to be honest, that sort of piqued me interest, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to have to give this a go to see if it works. Because at the moment, this thing is on Banggood for 18 quid, which is about $25, so it's for absolutely nothing. Uh, I mean, you download an app, uh, which I've done using the QR code on the front. Uh, it's Wi-Fi controlled, and uh, you can have you can use joysticks on the touch screen on your phone, or you can actually uh, uh, use the phone's gyro in order to control it. So the very fact you can take pictures and film underwater, I thought, you know what? we're gonna to have to give this thing a go anyway uh, let's get this thing unboxed because I am dying to try this right then in the box we get our instructions we get a USB battery charger and this plugs directly into the boat itself the boat's got an internal uh, rechargeable battery uh, and last but not least uh, we get the actual boat itself now it does look a right weird thing this does but there is definitely uh, I don't know if the uh, camera will pick it up, but there's a little tiny camera on what looks like a very rudimentary little gimbal inside. Uh, it's controlled uh, using these two propellers. Basically, you can go left, right, forwards, backwards, etc. Uh, no transmitter, because obviously the transmitter is your phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge this thing up and uh, we're going to see if it works on my tablet first. Now, before we take this thing out, I just thought we'd try it in a bowl of water just to make sure everything works. Uh, it's got, it must have a sensor on the bottom that can tell when it's immersed in water because it switches itself on. Uh, you have to then pair it with the app by uh, adjusting your Wi-Fi settings. It, it must emit a Wi-Fi signal that the device can pick up. Uh, and that's it. That's simple as. Then you just basically press the on button and you're away. Uh, the controls are touch sensitive. So oh, <laughs> we do that spinning round now just placed a couple of items in the bowl just to make sure that the camera works uh, the camera is on a gimbal let's just uh, show you there so you basically press these buttons here it's not the clearest of things but I have dropped oh let's just get the over here I have dropped a penny a five pence piece in the bowl and you can actually see it on the screen and there's a little light underneath as well to help with visibility um, and you can record uh, video and you can uh, take snapshots of whatever uh, this thing sees and like I said this control is super oh, control is super easy it says they are proportional it just takes a little bit of practice just to get them right but the controls are proportional there we go I've put a pair of tweezers in there as well there you go <laughs> it does actually work now, the thing I find most incredible sat here trying this thing is the fact that we've got a Wi-Fi controlled drone with an underwater camera on it for 18 quid. And I'm sure if we went back 20 years, this is like military grade tech sat in a bowl like for 18 pounds. It's just unbelievable how technology moves forward. Anyway, enough waffle. I'm dying to try this thing outside. I'm not sure about the clarity of the water around here. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure you'd need some decent clear water, but we'll do our best to try and find somewhere. Anyway, let's go and try it. All right, we're outside with the uh, little manta ray. Uh, you've got the controls, haven't you, darling? Yeah. So if you give it... <laughs> Ooh, uh, it goes quite far. So if you make it go forward... Or that bit towards me. Turn around. Come back. It's like a little ray, isn't it? Yeah. So if you can scoot it round a bit. Turn it round. Just do a 360. <laughs> Can you reverse? That's it. Can you see the bottom of the. Yeah. Come towards the bank. What the bricks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a bit closer. Oh, 
What's, what's the vegetation look like? Green. <laughs> bit difficult to see on the yeah, camera. Yeah, really. it's a bit close. You can uh, adjust you the. It's better when it's further away. You can adjust. Oh, look at that. There you go. That's a bit better, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I adjusted the angle of the. There's like a little gimbal. Oh, that's a bit better. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look at the vegetation. Look at that. Oh, my God, that's amazing. I'm recording this anyway. That's really good. <laughs> it's really cool, isn't it? Turn, yeah. turn it round, turn it round. Turn it round where? So it's here. Where is it? There. Oh. You have to sort of look at it at the same time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it, really? This, this thing is only 18 quid. Can you believe it? That's really good. That is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Oh. Daddy. Can twist it round? Twist it round? Yeah. Oh, might have to reverse him. Can you go straight now? No, it keeps twizzing. I wonder if one of the propellers has got gummed up. Uh, can you can you get it towards me a little bit? That's it, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> keep going. Stop. Oh yeah. Got a bit of uh, detritus on the propeller. Men. That is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> that is, I mean, if you genuinely, if you lost something in the water, you could have a, make a decent job of trying to find Should it. Can I chuck something in? <laughs> Let's go forward. Can we do this in Hanley Park where I lost my dad's ring? It could do. Might be some silt on it by now. Go forward. That's doing. Oh, that way. Oh, it's not doing it. It's not moving. Oh, I know. Oh, that. that, that's right, yeah. There you go. Go out <laughs> a little bit. Let's just record it. Okay. <laughs> See if you can go turn all the way around and run across the bank. You know, right to the edge, that's it. <laughs> right then, back inside, what do we think of the little manta ray spy boat here? I'm going to be honest with you guys, this thing is actually pretty cool. Uh, let's go with some pros and cons. Let's go with the cons first. I'm going to be honest with you, there aren't many. Uh, but the biggest con of all, I think, is going to be if you haven't got access to clear water this thing is pretty useless i mean as a an rc speedboat it's not very exciting the thing that uh, obviously really holds your interest is the fact that you you've got an underwater camera so if you've not got clear water it's going to be pretty useless to you right then let's have some pros now despite the cheap price this thing worked exactly how it should uh, i didn't have any trouble with the app i didn't have any trouble connecting this thing to the app uh, like i said the camera worked perfectly this thing worked perfectly from that standpoint, got no complaints. And despite the cheap price, nothing broke, nothing fell off. Got a bit of weed stuck in the propeller, but to be honest, uh, you would have done uh, on any boat with an open propeller like this. Like I mentioned to you before, as a standalone RC boat, this thing really doesn't make much sense. But I tell you what, when you stick a camera on the bottom, it just transforms the user. But I genuinely enjoyed using it. So did the missus. I think if you've got kids, they would absolutely love this. I mean, who doesn't want to see what's going on underneath the water? And the last thing I've got written down in my list is, of course, the price of this thing. I mean, 18 quid. I mean, you do get a hell of a product for 18 quid. I mean, there's, there's hours of fun with this thing. Honestly, if you've got children or even if, you, if, even if you're an inquisitive adult, uh, <laughs> this is genuinely entertaining. So then, would I recommend the Happy Cow Manta Ray Spy Boat to you guys? I'm going to say absolutely yes. For 18 quid, this is the best 18 quid I think you'll ever spend. Once again, a big thank you to Banggood for supplying this for review to the channel. Big thumbs up to them. Uh, I'm not going to ask them for a promo code for this thing because at 18 quid, I don't think they're going to give me one. Uh, I will leave a link in the description to where you can go and get it. If you found this video of some use and interest, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're feeling that way inclined, hit that subscribe button. It makes a huge, huge difference to the channel. Once again, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you again very, very soon. Thank you.